our 2020 fall moose hunt, we were more than looking forward to our spring bear hunt. We had actually planned this hunt almost three years before the date that we finally set out for Alaska for a spring black bear hunt. First thing, touch down the ground, sighted our rifles. Next stop, off to Homer. We spent the night, ate some good food, got down on the dock and boarded the boat. It wasn't long before we were setting sail for Alaska black bear. Now obviously you can already tell from the footage that this is not the kind of hunt that we could pull off on our own. So, like our fall moose hunt the year before, we engaged the services of a transporter and specifically engaged the services of Alaska Premier Sport Fishing. I did a lot of research before booking this hunt and actually first contacted them about Kodiak Blacktail, but I was able to pull together a group of good friends and my father on a spring black bear hunt and we were going to make it happen. Right away, we were treated to some incredible wildlife as we were pulling out of the harbor. We got to see some whales feeding on fish, we got to see some other wildlife up on the cliffs, and unfortunately, on that first day, we were in for some rough weather. So it changed the plans a little bit, but we still had an incredible day. The fishing wasn't what it was supposed to be, not on the first day, but we did have a treat of a black bear coming out the first night. Not exactly gorgeous out. Woo! Get back here. It's a deck crew working hard. When is this supposed to peak? What I have? This is pretty nasty stuff. Or the the ant the start to you know really drop off. When's it supposed to? Back off tomorrow. 1 a.m. All right, I'm gonna hold you to it. He says one. What are you saying? What time this shit ends? He said 1 a.m. He didn't say ends. He said peaks. Peaks. That's cute. Someone already got it. Fuck. First throw it off. Yeah. 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 After some rough weather and high winds and fishing that just didn't quite work out given the drift conditions, we tucked into a cove and were getting ready for dinner. When from the front bow, Hunter called out that there was a black bear, so it was a race to grab our gear and get off and make it happen. Preston, Hunter, and Chase set off in the skiff with the captain. Hunter happens to be the youngest of the bunch, and he spotted that bear, and he was up first. They white raced over in the skiff to try to get into a stockable position and make it happen on this bear on the first night, which happened to be a really good looking black bear. start to see the bear come into view here and as the skiff pulls up Hunter and Chase get out of the skiff to make a stock on this bear and get close. The remainder of the footage that you're gonna see is Preston who stayed on the skiff to try to get it all on camera.
Oh yeah, he hit him. Stop. Oh yeah, we can see him. Dude. Nice shot, man. That's a big bear. I mean, that's that's a really nice size bear. <laughs> nice shot, dude. I mean, when you start looking, at that belly's coming down, and it's got. I seen him. I seen him jump. Um, I can drop you guys off and you can bring him down for photos and I'll go see if anybody else wants oh, to get off. Sounds like good. Let's do that. I knew he... Young man. Dude, I you, knew can't, he, you can't even get adrenaline that fast. No, I knew I knew he kicked up. He was, re hit, he was a, getting ready to not want to stand there. Anymore. No, oh, yeah. He was like, I don't like this boat clanking. <laughs> sure enough, that metal cleat made a fucking noise. Oh, yeah, no, I like even had my hand on it to try to not get it to. Did you even get adrenaline out of that or was it too quick? No. It's too no, quick. No. He's, that's a big bear. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's not a small bear at all. That's a really good bear. I just Plus, his head will start to be looking around and all the like a dog. Yeah. Good spot, dude. Hey, we were sitting here like, wouldn't that be great if he was like, wait a minute, grab my binoculars. He said, there's a bear. I said to you, do you think anyone will want to jump up out of here? No one did. I was like, I know that no one would jump out. This will be the first black bear I've ever walked up on shot as well. Yeah, let's go right here to the right. I would go right here, bud. Right here, yeah, right here to your right, buddy. Just keep an eye on where he was at. Chase, you got an eye on him from here? Not yet. You got an eye on him? Not yet. I'm going to put him back. Like I said, you just never, you never know. It's a pretty dangerous animal. Oh, I see him. Come right here, come right here to like five feet to your right. I'm gonna clear through the pines. Got him? Yep. Let's just keep going around the pool. Yeah. You don't seem to be moving. Nah. I would go. a really good bear man <laughs> here here hold on a minute dude that's a good bear it's a good bear I didn't get any of the bonanza on film of us sprinting to get ready. Oh, Good job, bud. Nothing, huh? No movement. Cool. Hunter. <laughs> He's a nice bear. Yeah. I'd uh, make a nice rug for you, buddy. That, are you sure that's not him doing it? Yeah. Nope. He's done, bud. <laughs> yeah, that's a good bear. <laughs> a guy who is still a little sketchy being just in the presence. Oh, look at that. Old fighter, too. Look at him face mm -hmm. on.
Now the adrenaline's starting to kick in a little too late. <laughs> it's not a little too late. I would say it's perfect timing. Dude, God, holy freaking hell. I was, he's running back and forth in the thing. I'm like, ah! and then all of a sudden I'm like, pow, I'm like, shit. You got Dude, it. Jack shot him standing there and he went right here and tipped over. I saw him took off. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> what did it look like from the boat? Um, the winds in my face, I'm like, eyes are crying. I'm like, congratulations, buddy. That's how we were. <laughs> yeah, we were like laying down on the rock. Dude, look at that fur. Look at his fucking claws. Yeah, yeah. So if you're just doing the skull, is there anything you can do with the claws to have them? Necklace or? Yeah. I mean, like, how do you, what do you just cut them? I don't off? know, I guess. Here, go look this way. I want to see where that f***ing in at. I would have guessed it was in this ball. Nice part. shot, bud. That was like two seconds. I'm like trying to get in frame. Christ almighty. <laughs> uh, we find that. It was quartering too, wherever he smacked I thought it. it was like right here. What would it have hit to drop him so quick? Nah, I think it might have been up a little farther behind the shoulder. Cause I, when it hit in the video, I went, I think it was high. Like that was even it, high it, right in here. Although it's a big black blob, so it's a little that tough. Little, that that little load, I don't know if you ever see where it went yeah, in until you flip it out inside where out. Is. Well, we'll see when we skin it out. All right. Do you want to try and do like get it down to here? Yeah, he said if we can get it down here and to this side a little bit more, he can get the skiff closer. Uh. After getting dropped off on the beach, the captain came back to grab me and we moved Hunter's Bear down to the beach. We were all amazed by how rich the fur was and it was picture time with Hunter and his dad. One bear down on the first day. What we thought was going to be a take it easy night, enjoy some dinner and get to bed early, resulted in us getting down the first bear of the trip. We spent the rest of the evening getting the bear skinned and quartered out, getting the quarters hung and taking care of the meat. The weather forecast for the next day looked much better and the plan was for more fishing and more black bear hunting.